Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Creo. We are doing our MTG upgrades. I called this series, series pre-con upgrades originally, and then I was like, yeah, it's not really for a specific pre-con. So it's just an upgrade. Why am I limiting to pre-cons? Someone actually asked me to do a pre-con upgrade video, and that's where I kind of started with the series. And I just kept calling it pre-con, even though you can do it with any deck, really. Anyway, this one's all about clues. Good old clues. So for this video, budget is 50 cents and under. So even my usual rule of two, under two dollars, I'm way under that. As by the TCG market value, not a sponsor. No, not at all. So again, clue tokens are not all that important until not too long ago. They were pretty lackluster. Even like two years ago, if you got tokens, you wanted treasure tokens, and food and clues were kind of like, mm, you know, it's an option, it's not a bad thing, but you don't really care. They've really amped up both uh, food and clues. Food, I think the Lord of the Rings set did a great job, and a lot of kind of random sets have done a lot for clues, so it's maybe a bit less noticeable. The value and flexibility of clue tokens has increased greatly over recent sets with a myriad of new cards. Yeah, they're really amazing now. Um, I'm trying to get a deck, one of my budget decks I'm going to get together is going to be a uh, Azorius clue deck and it's going to be insane. Anyway. Number 5. Armed with proof. Two and a white. Um, so this is uh, an enchantment when it enters the battlefield investigate twice so you make two clue tokens right away clues you control are equipment in addition to their other types and have equipment creature gets plus two plus zero and equip two so really what you want is some way to like be able to just equip a whole bunch of things at once or have a massive reduction in equipment cost or equipping costs and then you're just going to like throw them all onto that one creature Probably, if you're playing commander, you put it on your commander, and then commander damage is done, right? Uh, if you got double strike, you need five clues, and then you equip it to your creature, and you'll probably have that over 21 commander damage already. Oh boy. Anyway, 18 cents. Number four. Nissa of Traken. Okay. This is a Doctor Who one. She looks very Doctor Who, old school Doctor Who. Three in a blue. Uh, for a three four, you've no maximum hand size. Very good start, right? Sonic Booster. Whenever she attacks, sacrifice X artifacts. Any artifacts, not specifically clues. Any artifacts. When you sacrifice one or more artifacts this way, tap up to X target creatures and you draw X cards. So you just gotta tap down someone else's board for everything you sacrifice and draw that many cards. So basically this is like you can activate clues without paying the mana cost is the idea of what she's doing basically. Also any other artifacts you could treat as clues if you want to. She also has Doctor's Companion if you wanna do a Doctor Who deck, there you go. Seven cents. Number three. Merchant of Truth, two white white, this two five flyer, and uh, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Very nice little thing to have there. Getting that extra value out of death is always a, a good thing. And yeah, remember if you got like Tesa Karlov or something like that with the double doubles your death triggers, you're going to be investigating twice every time a non-token dies. Clues you control have exalted. So whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each instant of exalted among permanents you control. So these are all just going to, all your clues are going to boost your uh, your damage of anything that's attacking alone. So yeah, that's insane. You don't have to tap them or anything. They just automatically do it. If it's attacking alone, great. Here's a huge boost based on however many clues you have you get that much bonus damage now. Um, well, again, I always think commander. Commander damage? Yeah, you're uh, you're getting to commander damage quick, especially in white. 
you can go white and something else and give like protection from creatures okay protection from creatures and this and then okay just one shot no problem 16 cents number two senator peacock this sounds like a clue character doesn't it i i always think senator peacock sounds like someone who is mrs peacock i think in clue anyway i'm gonna i shouldn't start rambling about clue uh three blue blue for a three floor uh three four three four not floor i woke up early today now i can't talk artifacts you control are clues in addition to their other types that's not great on its own because it's like you can sacrifice anything for two mana to draw a card a lot of artifacts you don't want to do that with but making every all your artifacts into clues synergizes with all of these other abilities right if you want exalted you put her and uh merchant of truth together hey great and uh you're just yeah you're just uh gonna make this whole huge huge attacker however many token or artifacts you have artifact creatures doesn't matter plus one for every single thing you have oh oh whenever you sacrifice a clue target creature can't be blocked this turn so not only you're going to like if you have that combination not only are you going to have exalted you can sacrifice just one of them and uh there you go unblockable that turn there, there's your win con you know anyway 20 cents only huh number one hyper right public reporter she looks like someone i can't i don't know renee zellweger maybe i feel like that's not the right answer someone with darker hair i think but anyway i can't place it but whenever she deals combat damage to a player investigate that many times so again, if you're doing that this is like combo thing, get her attacking. She attacks, she does damage, you just make a whole bunch of extra clues. And that way, even if you don't have the clues, now you do, right? Also, whenever you sacrifice a clue, sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. So remember, if you have center peacock, everything, all of your artifacts are clues. And if you have a, what was the other one called? Nissa of Traken, everything counts as a clue. So yeah, you you can sacrifice anything, any artifact you want at any time. You can give that creature uh, unblockable and you're gonna be putting plus one, plus one counters on it. So like make Nissa of Traken unblockable and then just throw her in. And yeah, you can sacrifice all your clues Draw that many cards, tap down someone's board, and yeah. Tapping down someone's board is so powerful because it means the other players get free attacks too, not just you. Anyway, 28 cents. Armed with proof, 18 cents. Nissa of Traken, 7 cents. Merchant of Truth, 16 cents. Senator Peacock, 20 cents. Hyper Right Public Reporter, 12 cents. It's not how you spell public, but okay. You know what? I'm, I'm... Anyway, the main thing, I would get multiple of these and get them into a deck together. The synergy gets crazy really, really fast. Anyway, take it easy.